Good morning, and thank you all for allowing me to speak today. And please forgive me if I need a minute to compose myself as I give my testimony. I brought my daughter, Evelyn, because her love gives me strength. And I also brought my son, Max, because he is the founder of the company that my wife and I run today. I know that I have three minutes of your time, but to outline the entirety of what PayPal did to our family over, the, over 11 months and to include the toll it took trying to repair the damage to our reputation that PayPal caused over the last several years in just three min minutes is simply not possible. So I'll do my best to focus on what my wife and I believe are the most important points. The first is that PayPal offered us zero notification and held roughly $100,000 of our money, which we had never had that kind of money in our, our life. We had saved up for a long time. After 11 months, PayPal still held $10,000 of our money and offered to give it back only if we signed a non-disclosure agreement, effectively attempting to buy our silence with our own money. It's important to note that 70% of small businesses fail in the first seven years. And that's in the best of circumstances. We have now been in business for seven years, and nearly three of those years we have been navigating the financial attack from PayPal. Of the 70% of the small family businesses who, who do fail, 50% of those families end up in divorce. And the kids of those families are left to endure the stress, anxiety, and turmoil that, the, that inevitably come with a broken home. So while PayPal may spend big money to hire big names to speak on their behalf, obfuscating the simple fact that their regular practice of holding funds of hardworking small family business is a direct attack on the American family. Now those who speak in opposition of our bill today will articulate carefully a carefully crafted rebuke to the reality of the true consequences to the American families to whom are victims of the thousands of money grabs that PayPal has perpetrated. With my remaining time, I want you to want you to contemplate what it would be like if you had money in your account but could not access to it to conduct your business and fulfill your obligations to your customers. More importantly, what it would be like to have your kids going to have your kids going to bed hungry night after night, month after month, because of the banking institution you trusted betrayed you and held your money and refused to release it. Moreover, in our effort to plead with one of PayPal's customer service represented, representatives named Scotty to be reasonable and release our funds, he insulted my wife and called our business shady. I would like to offer a suggestion to PayPal. Start doing what's right so you don't need to ask your victims of your wrongdoings for non-disclosure agreements. Stop putting your reputation over the reputations of your customers. Stop using money to buy your way out of the immoral and unethical business practices. And lastly, use your platform to lift the American small businesses up and stop using it to destroy them. Thank you all for your careful consideration and compassionate concern for all Tennesseans chasing their American dream. Thank all right, you. thank you, Mr. Stockey. 